Well, the first memorial service happening today for one of the 21 victims from that shooting. The first burial will happen tomorrow. One of the two funeral homes in Uvalde is directly across from Robb Elementary School. And News Nation's Brooke Schaefer joins us there now. Brooke, what's next for this community as they try to start this healing process? Well, it's definitely a long road ahead, Nicole. Uh, there's a lot of emotion here in Uvalde. Of course, there's a lot of heartbreak, pain, frustration, some anger as well. Part of that healing process will be those funeral services. As you mentioned, we know a memorial is happening today for one little girl with more funerals planned for this week. On this Memorial Day in Uvalde, Texas, the small town is still very much grieving. There are memorials up and down Main Street in Uvalde, like this one outside a daycare with empty chairs for the 19 students shot and killed. And this memorial, just minutes from Robb Elementary, now overflowing with flowers and messages for the victims. And we must continue prayer for Uvalde all over United States. If I can give you a hug. Marcy Heschel is a psychotherapist. She traveled to Uvalde to help days after the shooting. It's so hard on everybody. Yeah. There's shock, there's disbelief. That's going to turn into the bargaining stage where people are asking the should haves, the could haves, the would haves. This week, funeral services begin for many of the victims. One of the funeral homes in Uvalde offering no cost services for the victims and writing on Facebook prayer for our small, amazing town. A town, along with many of us, still learning to process. The fact that this was human caused and there was intent to harm our most vulnerable, which are our children, and that's not something that anyone can process. And that therapist, she told me something I think we can all understand. She said acceptance will happen at some point, but of course the town of Uvalde, of Uvalde excuse me, will never be the same. Nicole? Yeah, absolutely not. All right. Brooke, thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.